Life is weird sometimes. Two people can do basically the same thing, but have totally different outcomes. The story of Ahab and Jehoshaphat shows that God's work in our lives is not one size fits all. This is a story about two allies, one battle, and two completely different fates. God's people had been divided into two kingdoms, Israel in the north and Judah in the south. The northern king, Ahab, wanted to take back some land from some nearby enemies, and the southern king, Jehoshaphat, decided to come help his neighbor in this fight. But Jehoshaphat insisted that they ask for God's guidance first. Ahab had 400 prophets in his royal court who were, to put it nicely, just liars. They said whatever the king wanted them to say, encouraging him to go out to war and be victorious. Only one prophet, Micaiah, would tell the ugly truth. King Ahab said, I hate him because he never says anything good about me. Talk about petty. Micaiah warns Ahab that God has allowed deceptive spirits to speak lies through his hired prophets, and that if he follows their advice, he will die in battle. Ahab ignores this advice, goes out to the battle, attempts to disguise his identity, but ends up getting killed anyway by a random shot from a bow and arrow. Both these kings participated in the same battle, fighting on the same side, but Jehoshaphat found victory, while Ahab found only condemnation and death. These kings both went out into a battle that God did not approve of, but they had different motivations. Ahab was hungry for power and land. His decision to go to war was a demonstration of his arrogance and disrespect for the Lord. On the other hand, Jehoshaphat went out into the same battle out of a sense of duty and brotherly support for his neighbor king. Jehoshaphat was remembered as a good king. Ahab died disgracefully while trying to hide and use Jehoshaphat as a human shield. In any situation, we can never fully know what God is up to. God's providence means that he oversees everything that happens and that he intervenes in the events of this world. As many Christians say, God is in control. But that control also involves the free choices of human beings and other spiritual beings who have been given influence over this world. God also sees into people's hearts and understands their motivations. One action might come from evil motivations, while another person does the same thing out of loyalty or selflessness. So much of spiritual life takes place at a level we can't see. Paul says that there are powers in high places beyond our flesh and blood reality that influence events on earth. And Jesus taught that the God who sees into our heart's secrets allows the good and bad to grow alongside each other. We shouldn't try to control situations and people or to pass judgment because God might be working behind the scenes in ways we can't quite see. Things aren't always what they seem to us, but we can trust that God is working even in the most complicated situations. Can you trust a God who sees a bigger and deeper picture than you?